Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're answering a fan question. Cello Ninja 7 wants to know why some people, like me from Britain, would say the letter Z, like Z, and why Americans would pronounce it as Z. Let's get started. All right, so first of all, most of the English-speaking world pronounces the letter Z as Z, the primary exception, of course, being the United States, which pronounces it like Z. We British and others pronounce the letter Z owing to the origin of the letter Z, the Greek letter Zeta. This gave rise to the Old French Zede, which resulted in the English Z around the 15th century. As to why people in the United States call Z Z, this is likely simply adopted from the pronunciation of the letters B, C, D, E, G, P, T, and V. The first known instance of Z being recorded as the correct pronunciation of the letter Z was in Lies New Spelling Book, published in 1677. There was still a variety of commonplace pronunciations in North America after this, but by the 19th century, this changed in the United States with Z firmly establishing itself thanks to Daniel Webster putting his seal of approval on it in 1827, and of course, the alphabet song copied in 1835, rhyming Z with me, so Z with me. Because of the alphabet song, the pronunciation of Z as Z has started to spread, much to the chagrin of elementary school teachers the English-speaking world over. This has resulted in them often having to reteach children the so-called correct pronunciation of Z as Z, with the children having previously learned the song and the letter the American English way from such shows as Sesame Street. Naturally, kids are generally resistant to this change owing to the fact that T U V W X Y and Z now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me, just doesn't really sound quite as cohesive. Now for a bonus fact. The alphabet song is based on the French A vous de rage maman, which popped up in 1761, and a couple of decades later, Mozart used it in his 12 variations on A vous de rage maman. This tune is also used for such children's songs as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Bar Bar Black Sheep. So I really hope you found that video interesting, and if you have a question like this that you would like us to answer, please do let us know in the comments below. Also check out some of our other videos, which are over there on the right, and thank you for watching.